Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Mumsy here and I'm back with another video. It's a makeup tutorial as always and um, I was going in for like a pretty pink, you know, glowy, bridal inspired look. And um, yeah, this is what I uh, came up with. I hope you like the makeup tutorial and you learn something. I use the Makeup Addiction Palette. Like I've been wanting this palette for the longest time and I'm so excited I finally got my hands on it. The colors are just so I'll be loud. This is like my new favorite palette now. Um, so yeah, well, if you want to see how I achieve this look, just keep on watching and I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye. So I made a few changes to my eyebrow routine. So I thought I'd do my eyebrows on camera. So I'll show you how I do them now. this as my primer and I only applied it in my t-zones because I don't want my face to be extremely dry I'm going for like a more glowy bridal sort of look today so yeah I'm going to wear my foundation but I'm mixing it with the Milani Mills for the glowy look that I'm going for I take my beauty adjusted beauty blender and I'm going to use this to blend everything into my skin For my concealer, I'm going to use these two. The Colourpop No Filter Concealer. It's a bit too orangey on its own, so I like to mix it with the Maybelline Femi. And the Maybelline Femi too is too lightweight and too bright for me. So the two mixed together works perfectly for me. Using this clean part to blend out the edges and make sure that there are no harsh lines. Comes with a tiny one as well, so I'm just going to use this to blend the sides of my nose. So, next I'm going to contour with the L'Oreal True Match Foundation in C10. the rest of my face with this and I'm using the all over powder brush for maybe Peter Joseph so now what I want to do is add some more powder to my under eye to bake and also to catch out any fallouts from doing my eyeshadow And I'm using what's left on the Beauty Blender to reverse contour. This is the palette I'm going to use for my look today. I'm so excited to use, like I've been wanting this palette for the longest time. I'm going to use this as my transition color. And I'm blending this into my crease using the G180 Crease Definer Brush from Evita Joseph. Wrap on highlight, I'm going into my previous place, the magic palette, and I'm going to take this shade, Cassie.
yeah so that's it for today's look thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed the makeup tutorial and you learned something leave me a comment like this video if you enjoyed the tutorial subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already and i'll see you in my next video bye